the surest way to find out what our struggles is, is to become a parent. So I'm not recommending that's the way you find it out, but that, that is when it will really show itself. A parent or maybe, maybe a carer, but particularly when we become parents, because in that process, even in the run-up to it during the pregnancy, we're beginning to experience a lot of shifts in ourselves. And what I've experienced with so many parents I've worked with around the world for years now is that it begins to emerge even before the child is born because, you know, you're in this place now where you're really beginning to think about nurturing and being responsible for this new life. I mean, I remember after giving birth to my son and the biggest fear was, oh, now I'm responsible for another human being. And it, you know, it felt, felt very shocking. And what also happens at the same time when we're going through this evolving process as this new life is evolving and coming into our world is it brings up a lot of things that we experienced as a child. And the two go together. You've got this new human being. Now you're responsible for them. You know, okay, they're all going to get to kind of 18, 19. And we might think, well, I'm less responsible. But you don't feel less responsible. And it's an ongoing process. So the weight of it often scares us and you know, now we're in charge of this little being that maybe cries a lot. And of course, we can't do anything logical. We, we're used to getting through life by having logical conversations, being practical about things. But a baby or a, a young child, that's not their world. So the skills that might have got us this far in life, trying to apply them to a two-year-old, now, come on, you know that, you know, you have got to put your shoes on or you have got to go to bed now. I am not a rational being. I'm just excited and I haven't seen you all day and I want to be with you. So I don't want to go to bed. I want to play with you. I want to run around. I want to, you know, play water fights with you. And us using logic on them is, is just such a mismatch for their needs. And then as parents, we start to feel gosh, I can't do this. <laughs> this is this is a something I'm not equipped to do. I mean, I think we feel like that often as parents. The good news is you just need to have, have somebody, have me, who brings you more back to your emotional self so that you can then be in the emotional world with your child. And then things look, sound and feel completely different for you and even better, completely different for them.